I have a huge update for you. Ruby Frankie and Jody Hildebrandt's court hearing was today. The general public was allowed to join in and watch this hearing go down. Also, KUTV News, based out of Salt Lake City, Utah, posted pictures of Jody and Ruby at the hearing. I have a lot to fill you in on. Let's get into it. I posted this on my community tab. I'm in Ruby Frankie's court hearing waiting for it to start. It's a virtual hearing. Over a thousand people are signed in to watch. Chad Frankie's watching too. I saw him for a brief second. I'll give you an update soon. I do believe I saw Chad on the chat only for a brief second. I wasn't quick enough to get a screenshot, but I believe Chad was definitely there watching. Five minutes before the meeting started, I suddenly got this message on the screen. You are no longer connected to this meeting, automatically reconnecting. So I thought it was reconnecting. I sat there and waited for a while, but it never reconnected. This hearing was delayed by, I would say, 30 to 45 minutes. The last time I checked, there were over a thousand people trying to view this hearing. A lot of people had their cameras on. A lot of people were playing music in the background. They were talking. Dogs were barking. It was a chaotic mess. So I did not personally get to see Ruby's hearing, but KUTV2 News, based out of Salt Lake City, Utah, did. And they posted a picture of Ruby from jail on the internet. This is the first picture I've seen of Ruby since she's been in jail, and she looks rough. I believe she's wearing yellow stripes, which means she's in medical. Here's the news article from KUTV2 News. Ruby Frankie, the YouTube mom and creator of Eight Passengers, who's accused of felony CA, will be held without bail, a judge ruled on Friday, which is today, September 8th, 2023. Jail documents showed that she had been moved from a holding cell where she would be joining the proceedings remotely and into a medical block at Purgatory Correctional Facility. In the meantime, local media could not access the remote WebEx hearing, which the court spokesperson said was due to a virtual courtroom being overloaded. Eventually, a two news reporter was physically let into the courthouse in Washington County the event that the hearing would not be available remotely. At 2.08 p.m., Utah courts announced that most media had been allowed in, and any news providers who were unable to witness the hearing physically or remotely would be sent the recorded version of the hearing. It turned out Frankie was in attendance after all, appearing via webcam, either from or having came from the medical block at the correctional facility. The judge ordered that Frankie will be held without bail. The question of whether she'd be released on her own recognizance surfaced earlier this week when a court assessment was filed that recommended she be released and monitored pending trial. Her next hearing is set for September 21st. It wasn't immediately clear why Frankie had been moved to the medical block. Neither the court spokesperson nor her attorney had not released any statements regarding the media as of 3 p.m. Mountain on Friday. So here's a screenshot of Joe Jody Hildebrandt in jail. Her stripes are not yellow. They appear to be red. Their next hearing will be on September 21st, which means these two have to stay in jail at least until September 21st. Hildebrandt's hearing immediately followed Frankie's and she too was ordered to be held at Southern Utah Jail without bail until her next hearing. It was also scheduled for September 21st. Fifth District Judge John Walton will be overseeing both women's cases. So at this time, at this time, Jody Hildebrandt is also being held without bail. It was a quick hearing. It did not last long at all. If you were able to watch the hearing and you have more information to add, please leave a comment. But I'm extremely happy to hear the judge did not let them out on bail. They at least have to stay in jail until September 21st. At that time, they could be released on bail. Who knows? Brian Schnee, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his last name correctly, tweeted, Jody Hildebrandt's attorney filed a motion to the court asking for an expedited detention hearing, citing the defendant has experienced a life-threatening medical issue resulting in her hospitalization for several days. You are responsible to protect you, and now you're responsible to protect a baby. So I know that many of us, if not all of us, have been conditioned to um, believe that, you know, if someone is being abusive, then you need to get away from that person who's being abusive. But it's okay to leave the kids in that environment. And I understand that many of the laws in the world support that. A man or a woman can be being abusive and they still will have their children given to them, which is horrible. 
And I understand why the law does that because there's so much deception going on that the law, quote unquote, they don't know where the truth is. That's all I have for today's video. I'm so glad they're still in jail. I will keep you updated as the story progresses. What do you think about everything? Leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.